Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be discussing chain speed or chain damage boost, whatever you want to call it. It's a mechanic that is very often misunderstood, there's a lot of wrong information out there. People will usually tell me in either videos or Discord that I'm incorrect and I'm doing it wrong, it doesn't work the way I think it does. So I'm going to hopefully set the record straight and prove that it does work exactly as I've always been saying that it does. So what is chain speed? We're going to be using these units to demonstrate. Chain speed, I think the official name is chain damage boost. I call it chain speed as just like a shorthand. Um, I've always called it that. It's habit. Some people call it chain floor, chain minimum damage, etc. So what is this? This is different than chain cap. The chain cap increase is different. This increases the minimum damage of your first hit as you're building a chain. And then from there, it progresses. So uh, we're, we're looking at Malphazy, who has a passive of 200% chain speed. Most modern global exclusive damage dealers will have this as a just default um, ability. So the majority of global exclusives are by default at 300% chain speed with nothing else even starting. That's before any kind of gear, etc. Most JP units don't have this. A few do, etc. <laughs> but right here in game, you'll see it says chain damage boost can go up to 300%. That is where a lot of people see that and they get kind of hung up on that because the game says 300 is the maximum. What a lot of people don't do is read the third line which tells you abilities that boost damage limits, also known as chain cap, will increase your chain speed cap. And people, so many people you wouldn't believe tell me it doesn't work that way. The game says 300 is the maximum. Oh my god, the game also tells you you can break that cap. And we're going to demonstrate in this video, we're also going to show the power of chain speed. So let's get in here to the training dummy, and let's go ahead and do some testing, and I will show you exactly the way it works. Okay, so we're using, we're going to be using 1,000 needles for our testing. This does a fixed exact damage of 10,000 damage. Now keep in mind that can be modified by killers and that can be modified by like elemental weakness if you're using elemental weapons. So for our testing, we're using a unit with no killers at all as well as no um, elemental weapons. So as you can see right here, it's going to deal 10,000 damage. Boom. Handled. Nothing. Now, Thaisa, you're going to come into play later. So for testing, we're going to be using Laney to give a, a hit to bounce off of. I'm going to show you in a minute. So we're going to just bounce fire resist back to the boss, and Laney is going to quad fire. This is just, um, the reason I'm bouncing fire resist is just so that Laney does the minimum damage possible, so small numbers to make it easier to see the big number we care about. <laughs> okay, so Laney is doing unchained hits. That means we're going to now use Chow. <coughs> we're going to use Chow. This is the, the tanking Chow. Chow doesn't have any killers, any chain cap, nothing. We're going to use Chow to start a chain with the one hit Thousand Needles. That means Thousand Needles will be the first hit in the chain, although it'll be the second hit of the building chain because one of the fire hits from Laney is going to be the unchained hit. And then Chow's Needles is going to hit that chain with, you know, a cap or the first hit of a chain. The same thing would work if you're using, like, you know, Extreme Nova, etc. The very first hit is when the chain starts. So Chow is going to start the first hit of the chain with no speed. Chains increment at 10% damage per hit before accounting for bonuses like sparking or um, elemental elemental synergy, etc. So this should do 11,000 damage because it'll be the first hit of a chain with a 10% damage boost. So here we go. And here's Chow, 11,000 damage, exactly as expected. Now let's go in here and let's add some chain, chain speed to this. So we're gonna go to Chow and we're going to add to him, we're gonna add Kanya. It's just a fist with 200% chain speed. So as we can see here, this is going to increase our chain speed to a baseline of 300% because it's 100 baseline plus 200. We're also going to add um, more chain speed. So now we're at 400. Now we're at 
after we add more chain speed. Now we're at 500, and now we're at, um, promise from childhood. Now we're at 600% chain speed. So now, Chow is going to deal literally the maximum possible damage on the very first hit. So let's go in here, let's demonstrate real quickly. <laughs> okay, so um, we just bounce reflect back. So we're going to chain, and the very first hit, if everything goes correctly, should deal 60,000 damage. So here we go. And Chow is going to deal 40,000 damage. Why did the chain cap only give us 300%? Or the chain speed? That's because Chow doesn't have any chain cap increases with the current gear. So as a demonstration yet again, we're going to give him some chain cap, which will also increase the chain speed cap. So let's real quick, let's give him the Celestite Ring and let's give him um, Regina's STMR. Now he has six times chain cap. Let's go in here and do it again. So now with the absolute very first hit of a chain, he is going to deal the maximum chain damage, 60,000. So let's go ahead and bounce this back so we can make it nice and easy to see. Lonnie's gonna go. And Chow is going to hit with the very first hit of the, the very first hit of the chain. He is already at the maximum possible with no sparking, no elemental, nothing. He did 60,000 damage. Now let's take it a step further. Let's even show you that we can deal 80,000 damage on the very first hit. So we're going to move a lot of this over to Malfazy, who has the eight times chain cap. And again, she has no killers. Uh, she has no human killer. So let's go ahead and do Prodigy. Let's whoop, let's go ahead and give her the Thousand Needles. And we're going to dual wield her so that she gets her eight times chain cap. And we're going to add uh, Kaiser Fist. This is a fist that adds... Each fist adds 200% extra chain speed. And this is why I really like these on Veritas of the Frost. If I could spell... So now we're at 100 base, 200 from the passive makes that 300, plus 2 is 500, plus the fist is 700, plus 3 more sources would be 1000% chain speed. The cap though is only 8, so 2 of these are obsolete. But just for, just for, just for, just for um, testing sake, we're going to go in here and I'm going to show you that we're going to deal 80,000 damage on the first hit. We're going to be at the 8 times chain cap from the absolute first hit of the chain. So let's go ahead and do this. Malfazy will needles. Now she is dual wielding, so she's gonna hit twice, but the hits are far enough apart that they're not going to bridge the chain, so the chain will break. But here's the awesome thing. Even though the chain is going to break and just deal two different chains of two, Malfazy is still going to deal the maximum possible damage because she's at 800% chain speed. So here we go, and there we go. 80,000, 80,000 after the chain breaks. Again, maximum, maximum chain speed. And that is the reason I always promote chain speed whenever there's an open material slot. Now you don't want to, for example, lose Killers, you don't want to lose, you know, attack power, LB down. You don't want to lose anything for chain speed. But anytime you've got a unit that is chaining and you or capping, and you can fit the chain speed into there, you absolutely should. It's especially, especially good, and this this is where I used it today, on a unit like like Hio. Hio has um show you right here. Hayo has, you know, he's a global exclusive. He's got the 200 by default, and this is my Dark Visions build. I only have two copies of Tybus STMR. So Hayo has 100 by default, 200 more from the global passive. He's 300%. Now he's at Medin Synergy is 400, Prodigious Performer is 500, and Promise from Childhood is 600. With this build that I used in Dark Vision, Hayo, with his personal tag chaining LB, is doing literally maximum damage 
from the first hit of the chain. So the actual first hit, it's not bouncing off of anything, therefore it's not actually a chain cap, but the second hit and beyond where the chain begins actually chaining with his tag chain, you are at the maximum chain speed. For him, it's only six times because he's not a, he's not an eight times true dual wielder. So that is why I use, for example, Hayo in Dark Visions, and I had him with 800% chain speed. I'm sorry, 600% chain speed, and I sent him first by himself, and he built that chain, and that chain around hit 24 or so when the chain was at maximum maximum damage without any kind of speed. Then I sent the rest of my party in, and people like Aya, Frostveritas, Genesis, Saz on that party, all of them got the benefit of a absolutely maxed out chain modifier from the very first hit. Because Hayo built the chain for us, and because Hayo was using chain speed, he didn't lose any damage in order to do that. So there you go. Hopefully, I have properly demonstrated that the chain speed cap, there is no cap. The chain speed cap is whatever your chain modifier cap is. So if you're geared properly, it'll be six times for double hand units. It'll be eight times for 800% for true dual wield units, modern ones at least. Um, there you go. So chain speed is always useful up to the maximum of your chain modifier. So your very first hit is dealing max possible damage. Okay, hope it helped. See you in a bit.